Hey, Radiance here. Let me share a reusable React component for displaying a menu. It often saves me time and I believe you'll find it helpful too. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. Here's an example from my app at increaser.org. I use it for different situations and here we have a button that opens options for habit. On mobile, it will display the content in the bottom slide over. The menu receives three properties title, render opener, and render content. The opener is usually a some kind of button to which we dump all the props and ref we receive from the menu. Anything can serve as a content, but in this example, we use menu option. It's a component that will render a slightly different UI element depending on the view. For slide over, we would like to display a bigger buttons to make it comfortable for mobile users, while on the desktop, it would be a small item with icon and text. To make this nice hover effect, we use a hoverable component, which we can learn more about in this video. The menu component will render slide over for a small screen and pop over menu for a larger screen. To determine which one to use, we rely on the responsive view component that simply checks the screen size and if it's less than 600 pixels, it will assume that it's a small screen. To implement a popover, we rely on the floating UI library. To know if the menu is open, we rely on the use state hook. We pass both ref and reference props to the opener so that floating UI can determine the position of the referencing element and also handle interactions such as clicks. When the menu is open, we render a regular diff element and propagate to it ref, styles, and props from floating UI. For accessibility purposes, we want to keep the focus inside of the open menu. And that's why we're using a component from the React Focus Trap library. Inside, we have two part a header with title and close button, and the content coming from the render content function. To separate the section, we use the separate by line component, and you can learn more about it in this video. To allow clothing the menu with click outside or pressing the escape button, we leverage the use dismiss hook. On mobile devices, we will render the bottom slide over component that will be placed inside of body and for that we will use the body portal component. To bring more attention to the content inside of the slide over, we will blur the rest of the screen with the cover component. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.